Hello my friends, hello beautiful people. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series where I show you how to design this flyer inside Photoshop. If you've not gotten your smart designer program asset, now is the best time to get yours so that you don't miss the text, 3D text, the PNG images and all the goodies in this package. Also, the flyer templates are available to purchase. You can use the link in the description of this video to get yours. And also the sci-fi fantasy pack is also available. So click the link in the description to get yours. If you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notifications so that you miss any videos I'm dropping after now. Without having to say much, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my page. I'm just going to put the name here. So 4 by 5 300 and everything stays the same, right? So now we're inside of the Photoshop environment. The first thing you need to do is click on adjustment layer and click on solid color. And for this, I'm going to be using this color here, right? Something like this. Okay, good. So you can copy my color code to use it too. So I'll pause and play copy and use, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, my my text tool or my type tool and I'm going to just type something here. Small and easy. Right, so highlight it and uh, or instead of highlighting, the word is G-I-A. Right, so um, when you change the color, and I also change the font to the one I used. And when I'm done with that, Ctrl T to transform and make it bigger like this. Click enter. I'm just going to change to this guy here. I don't want that. Um, first one so i'm just going to work with this hold down shift while you increase from on top hold down shift while you increase from the side that's how i was able to achieve this okay so um uh, move this downward a bit increase it a bit like this hold down shift to expand this okay So Ctrl J to make a duplicate copy of this. Select your white here. And um, change the blend mode of this one on top here to vivid light. Right? Go to filter, go to blur and go to Gaussian blur. Convert to smart objects. And we might adjust all of this later on. So change the color of this guy here to something lighter. You can use this color here and click OK like this. Ctrl J to make another copy of this. Click on the Gaussian blur, increase it just like this and click OK. Change the blend mode to linear dodge arch like this. Right, so the whole concept here is creating the glow effect. But wait a minute, um, a quick one. Okay, so you can also support the growth of the channel by actually buying me a cup of coffee. So this is how you can actually do it. If my video has been impactful to you and you just want to say thank you, this is the easiest way to do it. So while watching any of my video, you can just come here and click on this thanks and this is going to pop out, right? So now what you have here is a slider. So it's showing Naira because um, I'm in Nigeria currently, right? So if you move this slider upward, this is as high as 100,000 Naira. So if you want to give me 100,000 Naira, please feel free to do that. 400 Naira, 1,000, 2,000 Naira. So you can use this when you're 
certain of, of the amount you want, click on buy and send. Now it will bring you to this page. All you simply need to do is just impute your card and that's all. Any card actually works, right? Impute your card here. You can see I have my card here already. So all you just need to do at this point is just click on the buy and basically that's all. So this is one of the ways you can use to support my channel right so if i have been helpful if my videos have been impactful this is the way you can actually give back to the channel right thank you in advance all right okay so let's move on i have uh, my image you can get this in the description of this video the resource file all right so um i'm going to ctrl c this and reduce this image because it's too big apparently right so ctrl t to reduce the size and of course i'm going to get rid of the sharp edges so click on the mask here like this and make sure your foreground color is set to black select your brush b for brush and make sure your cap lock is turned off caps lock so get rid of the edges here like this and uh, move this image just a little bit to the bottom here like this select this gia and um, one thing you want to do is make it bigger you can also move this upward like this and there you go you're good to go Okay, so I'm just going to make minor adjustments to the text, right? So I'm going to start from this. I'm going to reduce the blur, the blur values, click OK. And um, change the blending mode, click on this one. Um, reduce the blur value. And on this one also, I'm going to increase the blur value. So at the end of the day, you should have something like this. You should have your lights like this. Okay. So, um, go over and um, I'm going to use colorize for this. But I'm going to clip it to the image alone. So, check the colorize and make sure you increase the saturation like this. And another thing you want to do is Ctrl I to invert it because we don't want that whole stuff on the entire image. So make sure since you are working on a black mask, make sure you that your foreground color is set to what's white. Good. So I'm just going to fill in the, those colors here. Um, fill in those colors here, like I said. So I can choose to um, ignore this part here because I think I like the blend of uh, magenta and cyan that's going on there. So I'm going to leave it. Okay, so um, we're almost halfway done, right? So I'm going to move this, the image and um, the hue and saturation layer up a bit, right? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going over to my resource file. And um, of course, if you purchase the Smart Designer Premium Assets, you should have all of this image at your disposal right now right so i'm just going to look for the image to use i think it's somewhere around here and see these are all png images that you can use to make your projects um look great with high definition images without backgrounds so this is what i want to use so i'm just going to drag and uh, drop inside here right 
So I'm going to reduce the size like this. Going to reduce the size. And I'm going to use this to create like a light effect, like a transparent light. First things first, I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge. Right? Then I'm going to make several copies of this. But before then, I'm going to go to blend mode. Right? So blending option, under blending option. I'm going to hold down my alt key to break this apart. And I'm going to shift this closer. And when I'm done, I'm just going to press OK like this. You can see. It's more like a transparent image. Ctrl J to duplicate it. And I'm going to set this also to color. Ctrl J again. And I'm going to group all of them. Reduce the opacity like this. And voila. I'm going to create a mask. And with my brush selected, I'm going to conceal this area. So conceal this area and conceal this top here for it to blend nicely to the composition itself. So the next thing you need to do is go and go to where you have a resource file, drag and drop like this. So this is my text. I took our time to type this out so that we don't waste time trying to put all of this together so as to not make the video lengthy okay so this is my text of course the font that i used here also is part of the smart designer premium assets so you can get yours there too so create a new layer and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my brush with my foreground color set to this is the color code. Click OK. And I'm just going to one, one here to create this effect. That's all. I'm going to change my blend mode to screen. And that's all. Right? So to make it more interesting or to spice this up a little bit, um, I'm going to add noise here to convert to smart objects. I'm just going to, let me see. Okay, this is too much. I'm going to use this instead. Right? So this is the level of noise that I want here. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Let me see. Okay, so I'm going back to that hue and saturation. So I need to add some uh, magenta to the hair region. So I'm going to flip this and um, add some magenta here. And some other areas too. like here also because I have a reflection of light there and here too just make it obvious and make it nice so magenta magenta the tip here and um, basically that's all I need to do So I'm on the topmost layer. So click on photo filter and um, select the cooling, right? For you to get this. And um, on the topmost layer, I'm going to make a snapshot, Control Alt Shift plus E to make a snapshot of the entire layer. Then I'm going to convert to smart objects. Then I'm also going to go to filter and um, inside filter, I'm going to go to, that should be filter gallery. Yes, filter gallery here. And I'm going to create this effect using glass on that distortion, right? I'm going to make sure my distortion level is not too much. 
you can just copy my settings. Your texture should be frosted and your scaling should be 200. So we're going to create this. So what I'm going to do is mask it, Ctrl I to invert the mask. And with my brush selected and my foreground set to white, I'm just going to um, reuse as my brush and um, paint in the areas where I want that effect to be visible. Like areas like this. When you make a mistake, you can Ctrl Z or you can flip um, the, the foreground color. You can um, swap it to black and paint um, and erase the areas which you don't want. So I'm going to reduce this. And um, exactly this is how I want it to be. Right. So a nice looking poster could be a movie poster. Right. So it's perfect. You can also use it for a nightclub event and all of that. Right, so guys, this is how I was able to create this poster inside of Photoshop. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Just up above.